Number nine, we want to solve the inequality, write it in set notation, and then uh, graph the solution set. So it says set or interval, so I guess we'll do both. Um, they want us to do both. They're pretty much the same. And um, then we'll graph it. So negative 4, then open parentheses, 2x minus 5, close parentheses, less than negative 4. All right. We want to solve and get x by itself. So um, you could distribute, but I would just divide off this negative 4 instead of having to distribute it. So divide off the negative 4. Divide negative 4. So that just divides it and gives us 1. So I will bring down my 2x minus 5 less than. No, okay. So I got to be careful here <clears throat> to make a note. When you're dealing with inequalities, notice what happens. We're dividing by a negative. Negative divided by a negative. This now is a positive 1. Okay, and then negative divided by negative, that's now positive, so that negative is gone. When the signs change, your inequality sign also changes. Okay, so this was a sign that was less than, but because I divided by a negative, it now flips and it is greater than because the concavity has changed. We have gone from negative to positive, so this is now from less than to greater than. You must remember to do that whenever you divide by a negative or if you were to multiply both sides by a negative. That only happens when you divide by a negative. Simply dividing does not change the sign. You have to divide by a negative specifically. Um, okay, so when we do that, now we add 5 to both sides. That goes 0, bring down 2x greater than 5 plus 1 6 and divide by 2 so here we go we're dividing but it's positive so we don't have to change the signs divide by 2 that's 1 so we just have x is greater than 3 so here is our interval okay. if you make sure your variable is on the left hand side this inequality symbol, kind of like an arrowhead, will point you in the right direction. So if that was an arrowhead, it would be pointing to the right. So I like to do that number line first, so it helps me to see what's going on. So I have my number three. No underline, so it's going to be parentheses. And it's going to the right. All the way to positive infinity. So, <clears throat> if I wanted to do set notation, all you have to do is add curly bracket your variable vertical bar and then curly bracket so this is set notation interval notation I used to pick that up from the number line so that's why I did the number line we're going from 3 to infinity you always go from smallest to largest so in parentheses 3 comma and then infinity and you always do parentheses around infinity so here's my set notation comes directly from your inequality statement your interval notation by using endpoints based on your inequality symbol and then your number line which also gets this endpoint based on your inequality symbol <clears throat> so from here we have a b c d choice the set of all x, x is greater than 3, that matches exactly. And then it says or, and this one is in square brackets. So we need parentheses, not square brackets, so a is not correct. Uh, b is not correct because it has x is less than 3 and we need greater than 3. If you don't flip it, you'll be thinking b is correct. Uh, but it also has a negative infinity and we're going to the right. But if you didn't flip it, you would get that. Um, C, we have a negative 3, and R3 is positive, um, as far as I can see. So the only option is D, X is greater than 3, looks good, and then 3 to infinity. 
and that looks good. So D is going to match my set and interval notation. And um, continue to part two. The number line should be three going to positive infinity. That's going to negative. This is a square bracket. This is going to negative with square bracket. D is going from three to positive infinity. So D is the number line. 